YouTube, it's cracking. It's your boy. I'm back with another video. Had a two mile run this morning. Shit was real proper. I'm feeling real right. Mm. Burn my goddamn tongue, man. But look, start things off. I need you guys to go hit that like button. Hit the like button. Y'all watching the video and not hitting the like button. Hit the dislike button. Either one. Press the button. Don't come over here watching the videos trying to eavesdrop or figure out what's going on with me. But you can't even hit the like button or the dislike button. If you don't like what you're watching but you can't stop it, hit the dislike button. I ain't got no problem with that. I ain't worried about it. You know what I'm saying? I had to switch up the silky for the day. I can't even find my other one with a little pink on it. Uh, I really only rock with that brand because that's the only one that really fit my head. The other, the regular silky type joints, the motherfuckers feel weird and the, and the tail be fake short. You know what I'm saying? They got a big head. You know what I'm saying? Ask your girl about me. She know. But uh, yeah, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. If you ain't noticed, keep pushing these videos out. I don't get tired. You know what I'm saying? It's it's nothing. I'm, I'm used to it by now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the check-in part is done. Uh, this video today is going to be about three key reasons why athletes... People who train vigorously or people who just like to work out or uh, they need to bring a, a extra boost to their day. Three key reasons why you should be taking either ice baths or cold showers. So I did a two mile run this morning. Um, got back in, jumped straight into the ice shower. I can't do the ice bath here. I don't have enough ice. It's not in my, uh, I don't have an ice uh, freezer. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really do the ice thing. I can go buy ice, but I'm not about to keep buying ice to do the ice bath. Bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't got it like that. Ice ain't expensive, but goddamn, I'm going to get tired of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, by the way, this is that, uh, it's that mushroom coffee with that, uh, with that, with that. oh, shit, I didn't even put the maca in here. But, uh, yeah, this that mushroom coffee, man. No creamer. Black as possible. Uh, if I do add some sweetener to it, it's, it's like uh, aspartame or, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the fake sugar type shit. No, they say it's bad for you, but whatever. It's the same people that saying that shit eat McDonald's. They eat cookies, you know what I'm saying? Fuck what they talking about, man. I don't eat nothing but nigga meal prep and this little ass packets of fake sugar ain't going to do nothing to me while you sitting out here drunk eating cheeseburgers and shit. I don't want to hear nothing from you niggas. Straight up. Um, yeah, man, I made my shit a little too hot today. But yeah, the first key reason why you should be taking ice baths, uh, this is in no particular order. I'm just going off the dome. Uh, the first key reason why you should be taking ice baths is because it'll build mental toughness. Definitely. I think, hey, man, if we're not going in order... I think this might be one of the key reasons why you should be taking ice baths. It'll build mental toughness. Um, wow. What can I say? If you've never taken an ice bath or a cold shower, then you really don't understand. But for the people that have, ask them. It's hard. It's rough. I, I in, my, in my opinion, I think cold showers are kind of worse than ice baths because once you're in the ice, unless you're, uh, agitating the water once you're in the water. Um, I think uh, cold showers are more challenging to get through because, you know, once you're submerged in an ice bath to start off with, it's probably terrible because the water is freezing. You know, cold showers, the water is not freezing, but ice baths, the water is freezing cold. It's literally iced. So you would have, uh, a lot harder time, you know, trying to enter in the ice bath. Um, but once you're fully submerged, 
you got your toes covered and your fingers covered so you don't get a, what do they call that shit, frostbite or something like that. Um, you know, you're fine. My bad. Yeah, once you're fully submerged, you're fine. There's, there's really no issue uh, once you're, you're, you're up in neck deep in that point. Then you start to go numb, you know. I've been there. I used to do ice baths damn near every day. Uh, I play high level in sports, so I'm, I'm so used to it. Uh, I haven't actually done it in a long time, so it'll probably take me three days to a week to fully get back used to, but, you know, it's muscle memory. Um, your body always snaps back regardless. So that was key number one. It'll build mental toughness because it's very challenging, bro. It's super challenging. With the showers, the water is constantly beating on you. It's changing pace. It's hitting different areas. It's different speeds. So you keep feeling like, ooh, it's, you know what I mean? It, it's it's challenging. It's not just one temperature and you sitting in it and then your body is able to build up a certain resistance in that ice bath if you're not agitating the water. So try them both out. Um, it's definitely going to build your mental toughness to see how long you can sit in that cold water without uh, hyperventilating or freaking the fuck out. Uh, cold shower is a motherfucker, G. So uh, what we got, number two. The number two reason you should be taking ice baths or cold showers uh, is to simply wake your body up. Um, I wouldn't recommend jumping straight out of the bed and going into it because that's going to be a hell of a shock to your system. You can. It might work. It, it may work a little better, but, yeah, I don't see myself ever jumping straight out the bed going into an ice bath for a cold shower. You're a fucking maniac. I'm not going to lie to you. Pat you on the back, my nigga. You need to go be a frogman or a motherfucking ranger. Real shit, because uh, that ain't for me. But it will wake you up. So if you're one of those people that, that wake up in a bad mood or you're groggy or you can't get your day started, um, you slow to start, you should be considering taking ice baths or cold showers because it's going to be an instant shock to your system. And everything you thought about yourself that morning is going to be out the fucking window. You know what I mean? Um, it'll perk you up real fucking quick, man. So... If you got a sluggish uh, attitude about yourself, if you can't find the energy to wake up and get started and, and get that, that pep in your step, jump your stupid ass into the cold shower. See if you can do it for five minutes. I'm pretty sure you won't, but try it out. Try five minutes. Come back. I'll let me see how it go. Uh, so, yeah, number two is waking the fuck up. It'll wake your game up faster than a motherfucking pimp on four flats in the Cadillac. Number three, the third and final reason that I'm giving to you guys. It's a plethora of other reasons why you should be doing it. I'm giving you the three I want to give you. If you don't like that, go fuck yourself. The third reason is it will draw out the inflammation in your body. Now, I'm not going to go into the scientific details about this shit. I'm not no motherfucking scientist. If you're looking for that shit, click the fuck off the video right now. You ain't got to stick around. Click off the video right motherfucking now. Go to Google, type in ice baths and the goddamn scientific reasoning behind it. Because I ain't got that shit for you. But what I can give you is that it will draw inflammation out your muscles. So... Once you get into the ice bath, right, you, you know what icy hot is, right? It's a reason why it's icy and then hot. So icy is going to numb and dull the pain so you can be able to relax. Once again, it's going to numb and dull your muscles. Your muscles are getting pumped up and filled with blood. It's kind of like a numbing cream. You're, when you tear your muscle fibers down, it starts to hurt. They're very hot and warm, um, and they're filled with blood. Now, the, 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 the cold water is going to force that blood out of the muscle, and you're going to lose a pump. 
very fast. Your pump is going to go down very, very fast because your muscle is getting cold. Um, your muscle is getting cold. I'm not too sure on how it pulls the inflammation out. Uh, I remember reading something that said like it's pulling it up to the surface or something like that. I'm not necessarily uh, 100% about that. So don't take that verbatim. But I do know for a fact that it will pull the, the uh, inflammation out your muscle, whatever part of the body that you're submerged in. Um, yeah. So keep that in mind. If you're going through any muscle spasms, if you have any, uh, what's that shit? Not folic acid, but uh, some sort of acid you get in your body when you're working out, especially in older age. If you have muscle stiffness, soreness, uh, achy joints and things like that, jump your retarded ass into a motherfucking ice bath and change your motherfucking life. I guarantee you it will change your life. Uh Man, this coffee is bussing. Um, yeah. So to recap on this video, this video was about ice baths and the benefits of it. The first one was mental toughness. See how long you can last. The fortitude, cold water, it's a motherfucker. Number two, it'll wake you up. It's a shock to your system. It'll remove the laziness from your life in an instant, like a motherfucking backslap. Number three, it will remove inflammation. It'll help you with achy, stiff, and uh, torn ligaments and ailments. If you need the scientific shit behind it, go to Google, nigga. My name ain't Google. I'm just a nigga bringing you some information. All right? So if you haven't already, click that like button. Comment down at the bottom. Subscribe, click the notification bell to get the videos as soon as I drop them. And uh, keep going, keep pushing. It's hump day. I need you guys to push through the climax. Push through the climax. Ask your bitch, ask my bitch. I ain't got no breaks. The bitch gonna be coming. I'm out.